Hello and welcome to another video screencast review. My name is David Strom. Today we compare two enterprise network firewalls. Our sponsors McAfee Firewall Enterprise version 8 and the Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance ASA 5500 series. Using the product's software-based consoles, I want to illustrate three key aspects that highlight the differences between the firewall. The first is the difference in how firewall rules are created. Second is how they approach protecting their network users and applications. Finally is how additional security features are integrated into their firewall. Let's start with rule creation. For this example, we'll create a rule to protect a web server from attacks. With the Cisco firewall, we have to go through a multi-step process that can be tedious and set up four different rule sets, an access rule, a NAT rule, an IPS signature policy that gets applied to my particular web server configuration, such as an Apache server, and a service policy rule. That's a lot to keep track of. On the McAfee firewall, we just have to set one rule, and here you see its simplicity as we walk through its creation. We can also add additional protections such as geolocation to exclude traffic from countries with which we don't do business, such as Cuba, and exclude source IP addresses that have been assigned a poor reputation score by McAfee's trusted source reputation service. Cisco has some of these features, but they aren't as robust and not easily integrated into their rule sets. Our second point is how each product addresses users and applications. With Cisco, user protection starts with setting up a separate authentication rule on their AAA servers tab, as you can see here. Applications are not explicitly identified. We have to know the port and protocols they use, or most often use. With the majority of internet traffic being tunneled over ports 80 and 443, this isn't as reliable as it once was. Version 8 of McAfee Firewall introduced App Prism functionality that allows recognition and control of over a thousand applications by identifying the protocol being used, even on non-standard ports. With McAfee Firewall, we can transparently identify Active Directory users and groups in which they are associated. Furthermore, with the addition of App Prism, McAfee Firewall can identify and control the applications each user accesses. This provides significantly more granularity, as you can see when we click on the Groups tab and scroll down the list here. Finally, let's look at how we set up some of the additional security services that complement enterprise network firewalls. Cisco requires add-on modules for antivirus or intrusion prevention, and the 5500 series ASA only has room to fit one physical module inside, as you can see from this description on their web. This means you have to pick one or the other or spend more money to purchase two separate appliances. With the McAfee firewall, there's better integration with its advanced security services and everything comes included at no extra cost. He will create a rule to inspect Gmail for viruses. We can easily do the AV scan and set up the SSL decryption re-encryption policy since many of these sites, like Gmail, now use encryption. Cisco cannot perform SSL decryption and provides no insight into encrypted traffic and its AV scanner requires a separate module with a separate series of screens because of the Trend Micro AV console isn't integrated. The bottom line is that McAfee firewalls offer great protection and ease of use better than the Cisco ASA firewall. Thanks for watching webinformant.tv. This is David Strom. Check out my links to my email newsletter, how to book me for a speaking gig, or read some of my articles on other IT-related products.